Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through your essay plan that we discussed in class today. Um, basically, the essay needs to have a introduction, which is an overview, as it says there, of the two different genres, which are musical theatre and sound sculptures. You want to make reference to Bill Fontana at this stage, although it is just an overview of the two things that you'll be looking at. Then you start to look at musical theatre. Um, you need to follow the peel structure at all times, so that's the point, example, explain, and then link it back. Your musical theatre with your five examples should be a combination of the things that we discussed in the slides, so things like geographical location, diegetic and non-diegetic sound, to name but a few, and you should have one example per show, is a bare minimum. Um, you can't use a show more than once, and you can't use the same example more than once. Um, you must start with the show. You must give a brief uh, synopsis of what that show's about. So if you take High School Musical, then it's a, it's a, a love story based in America. Um, you might want to say the historical context. You might want to say when it first came to Broadway, or it's based on a film, or did the film come afterwards. Once you've actually done the historical context of it, you then need to then talk about the five examples so you would talk for that particular high school musical, you might talk about the use of um, diegetic or non-diegetic sound and how it's used. You give an example of where it's used and you discuss what that does for the audience. Um, once you've done your musical theatre, you then look at uh, sound sculptures. Before you go straight into it, I want you to give an overview of what sound sculptures are. By doing so, you'll talk about Bill Fontana, so you'll say, who is he? What are his early influences? What does he want to achieve? Okay, They're the basics of what you need to talk about in your introduction for sound sculptures. When you're doing that, you need to also make reference to people like John Cage. Talk about the fact that uh, Bill Fontana um, is classically trained, but decided to think about music and in the context of sounds around us um, and recording those and the displacement of sound and what displacement of sound means. I want you to, to discuss at least two of his pieces. Um, we've got river sound, we've got um, the piece about uh, pigeons, uh, we've got another piece about uh, displacement of sound on a, on a, a bridge in America. Um, all of these can be found on his website. If you Google Bill Fontana um, and have a look at his website, you need to talk about these things uh, in relation to what are the pieces and what he was trying to do for those pieces. Once you've gone through Bill Fontana's works, all the things we've discussed, the next thing you need to look at is obviously the conclusion, which is there. And the conclusion is drawing together the two genres. Now that can't be three sentences where I, I think I like this or I particularly like musical theatre more. What you want to be talking about at this point is discussing the point that one genre, i.e. musical theatre, is there to entertain and the other is to make you think. It's to put a curveball in something. It's to give you something that's out of the ordinary. One is very conventional, one is very abstract. And what does that mean? Is there a place for, it, for them both? So they're the kind of things you talk about in your conclusion. A couple of things to remember though overall, if you're taking things from websites, don't plagiarise, so don't copy and paste large chunks of things without referencing it into your essay. Remember that your essay um, has to be um, detailed, well written, check for grammar and spelling, and the overall essay must be in for this Thursday. Okay, so that's this Thursday in class, and you're going to upload this essay to Moodle, and I'll show you how to do that during the class. Okay.